Lead. We are back, Lead Heads. Welcome back to the Talking Lead Podcast. This is episode 288. Getting ever so closer to our 300th episode. And as I have mentioned in previous episodes, I would like to hear from you, Lead Heads, your suggestions on what we should do to celebrate the 300th episode of the Talking Lead Podcast. Send those suggestions to talkinglead at gmail.com and put in the subject, Talking Lead 300th episode. So if you haven't done so yet, make sure you go back to last episode, 287, where we had an awesome episode about the Buckmaster Knife. We had Buck Knife historian Rich Nyman on, the author of Buckmaster Knives, The Authorized History. Also joining Rich, we had the commander Tom Coulter, and we had C.J. Buck himself. So make sure you guys go back, check out that episode. They had some great stories on writing the book and then the history of the Buckmaster Knives. And then, of course, we also announced that they are working on a new version of the Buckmaster Knife, the uh, 2.0. And I've posted some pictures on social media. And if you guys noticed, one of those knives was covered up. That's the prototype for the 2.0. They couldn't show you some of the details because they're still working out some of the the finer points on that. So go check that episode out. You're going to love it. And speaking of love, make sure you guys go and show all the sponsors of the Talking Lead podcast some lead head love, like the official optics of Talking Lead, Right On Optics, R-I-T-O-N. Find them at rightonoptics.com. And we'll be having another Optics 101 class coming up with our good buddy J-Mac. And J-Mac's got a couple of guests that he's going to be bringing along with him on that next episode. So stay tuned for that. X Steel Targets. X Steel Targets. The best, most affordable AR500 steel targets on the market today are X Steel Targets. Seriously, guys, if you're not shooting AR500 steel targets now, I mean, you don't know what you're missing out on. There's nothing more rewarding or satisfying than hearing that ting after a successful shot. Whether you're shooting pistols, rifles, whatever it may be, guys, go check out X Steel Targets. They've got a target for all your needs. Competition shooting targets, plinking targets, training targets, you name it, they've got them. They've got fun targets, those spinning Texas star targets. And if you can't find something there that you like or meet your needs, get in touch with Bud and they will custom make a target just for you. XSteelTargets.com. Caltech Weapons. One of the most innovative firearms companies in the industry today is Keltec Weapons. Always coming up with new, innovative firearms like the Sub 2000, like their bullpup designs for the RDB, the RFB, the KSG shotgun, their new KS7 bullpup shotgun, the single barrel 12 gauge. Guys, if you if you haven't checked that out yet, make sure you go to keltecweapons.com. You can go to their Facebook page, go to their Instagram page. Uh, And then they've got a a new 22 LR pistol that's pretty awesome looking too. So go check that out, KeltecWeapons.com. And then when you purchase your Keltec firearm, make sure you get some modern Spartan systems to keep the thing cleaned and lubed. They've got all your cleaning and lubrication needs at ModernSpartanSystems.com. They've even got a product called TVT Engine Oil Additive, which I put in all my vehicles. Anything with an engine here that we run at the lead quarters, gets the modern Spartan Systems TVT engine oil additive. It protects and extends the life of your engine. ModernSpartanSystems.com Make sure that you tune in to the end of the show because we're going to be giving away another one of our EDC Pocket Dump Rewards packages brought to you by Talking Lead, Buck Knives, Streamlight, and FLEOA, Federal Law Enforcement Officers Association. We're going to be giving away a Streamlight ProTac flashlight, a Buck Knives Blue Line knife, and a Defy Watch provided by our good buddy Bill over at the Federal Law Enforcement Officer Association. And we've got two more of those to give away, and one of those will be given away at the end of this show to one of you sheepdog. So stay tuned to find out who that is. So get ready for this episode, Leadheads, because we're going to be bringing you a great interview with three of the outdoor industry's most talented females. We've got Christy Titus, Morgan Mills, and Narissa Harmon joining me on this interview. They swung by the Buck Knives booth during SHOT Show. Buck Knives was the official lead quarters of Talking Lead, as you guys know. And uh, Christy dropped by, and she brought her friends Morgan Mills and Narissa Harmon 
You guys are familiar with Morgan. She's been on the show before. She's a good friend of ours. Country music singer, host of several different TV shows. And of course, Narissa is one of the co-founders of Girls With Guns and what used to be the Universal Huntress TV show, uh, which I think they call it now Girl With Guns TV. Uh, And then Christy Titus is one of the industry's top female hunters. And she also has a TV show called Pursue the Wild. So a really great interview coming up with those ladies. They're going to be filling us in on all the awesome things that they've got coming up and some of the cool organizations that they're working with. But before we get into that, I hear that jack wagon train rolling in. Who rides Semper Fi, do or die, hold them high at 8th and I. It is time for the Talking Lead Jack Wagon of the Week, so brace yourself, baby. All right, Gunny, thanks for rolling that train in. We've got a couple of jack wagons to take care of this week, so let's get into it. This jack wagon comes to us from Leadhead to Kenny Ortega. And Kenny said, I just had to send you this jack wagon. You may have seen it, but it's too good not to share. So here's the link here. Let's just click on it and see what it is. Marion police respond after man accidentally shoots self in genitals. What? Oh, my God. So it looks like this is Maryland, Indiana. A man was sent to the hospital after his gun slipped and accidentally discharged by his groin Thursday. The Marion Police Department said the incident happened around 644 Thursday morning on the walkway near the Girl Scout cabin in Marion. Uh Uh-oh. The department said Mark Jones was walking when the high point 9mm handgun he was carrying in his waistband without a holster began to slip. So there you go. There's a uh, argument for why you should always holster your firearm when carrying it. Uh, see, Jones reached down to adjust the gun and it discharged. The bullet entered just above his penis and exited his scrotum. <laughs> the department said Jones did not have an Indiana handgun license. They sent the case to the Grant County Prosecutor's Office for review. So, okay. Uh, but like I said, there's a great argument for, um, you know, keep that thing holstered. And the number one rule is when dropping a firearm... Don't try to grab it. Don't reach for it. Just let it fall and hit the ground. Uh, you know, high points are, are like tanks, man. They can take a beating. So I doubt he would have even got a scratch on his high point dropping it. Uh, but yeah, welcome to the jack wagon train, uh, Mark Jones. <laughs> so, I don't really have anything else to add to that story. It, it just speaks for itself. All right. So our next jack wagon comes to us from Neil. And I'm going to mess up your name, Neil. It's Buck or Ix. Uh, B-U-K-O-U-R-I-C-Z. Buck or Ix. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Neil. I'm sure you'll send me a phonetic uh, pronunciation of that. I uh, wasn't trying to butcher it on purpose. But anyway, he says, uh, not sure if you saw this, but it's down in your neck of the woods. And he sends a link here. So let's click on this link. And I've seen these for the first time, guys. So, um Let's see what this is. It says, Murfreesboro gun store owners hold suspected thieves at gunpoint until police arrive. So, yes, this is, uh, this is my hometown. This is where I live. And I hadn't heard about this story. So, yeah, thank you for sending this. Rutherford County, Tennessee, WZTV. New video of gun store owners taking matters into their own hands. Check out the moment owners of Bullseye Gun Gear and Pawn hold suspected thieves at gunpoint. They held them until Murfreesboro police arrived and arrested the two men and two teens, police say one of the teens stole a gun from the store the week before. Bullseye Gun Gear and Pond is a family-owned business that doesn't take security lightly. Co-owner Annette Lane says they'd recently been burglarized, so they had their eyes peeled for anyone trying to do it again. I had no clue that it would go down like it did, Lane said. When these four young males came into the store Thursday night, acting suspicious, very suspicious, We knew that we needed to be watching them. Surveillance video shows worker Caleb Gregory helping the man at the counter. I had three guns out on the table and I could tell they were acting kind of suspicious. Cause one of them was kind of holding the gun back. I could tell they weren't really interested in what I was saying. Really, Gregory explained. (laughs) His instincts were right. Video shows the men bolt from the store and Caleb jumped the counter to go after them. I just went. There was no time to think at all. I was tired of them stealing from us, Gregory said. Co-owner Kelly Brooks saw Kayla jump over the counter and knew something was wrong. I turned, spin as fast as I can, grabbed my gun, and ran outside, Brooks said. 
Brooks ran in front of the getaway car with his gun drawn. Palms up everywhere. Adrenaline was rushing. It was really quite the scene. Five In five years, first time I've ever pulled a gun on somebody, Brooks said. At the same time, Annette and Caleb get the suspects there after to the ground. Uh, some kind of typo there. So, uh, so apparently they told him to get out of the car and get on the ground. We were scared, scared out of our minds, but I don't think we were thinking about the fear at that point. We were thinking, don't let them get off the ground, Lane said. Police arrived shortly after and arrested the four suspects. They say one of the juveniles is actually the one who stole from them last week. It wasn't anything we're ever rehearsed or really thought about because who robs a gun store in the daytime, Lane said. 21-year-old Evan T. Bell and 19-year-old J. Darius J. Rice are charged with theft of property. Bell was also charged with criminal impersonation. The other, the others arrested were juveniles. So there you go. Don't steal from a gun store in broad daylight. Uh, so, I mean, that's, that's just stupidity on their part. I mean, the guy steals from them once before and he comes back to try to steal from them again. But they were expecting him this time and he got busted. So there you go. T-Bell and J. Darius. <laughs> You jack wagons. So if you steal a gun, but you don't steal a gun with a gun, is it still armed robbery? Because after you steal the gun, then you've got a gun. So how's that work? We got any lawyers out there? Explain that one to me. But anyway, I'm sure these guys won't see much time in jail at all. So they'll be back at it again, hitting either hitting up Bullseye or one of the other uh, gun stores around town here. Okay, that'll do it for the Jack Wagons this week. Thanks, Kenny and Neil, for sending those in. Greatly appreciate it. If any of you other lead heads have some Jack Wagons you want to send in, send them to talkinglead at gmail.com. Put in the subject Jack Wagon, Jack Wagon nominee, something along those lines so it's easy for me to, to pick out and find. Let's go ahead and jump into our interviews from the 2019 SHOT Show from the official lead quarters of Buck Knives with Christy Titus, Morgan Mills, and Narissa Harmon. And Kelly Pickler and my shoulder. I look like, like giant. Like, Speak to me, child. <laughs> <laughs> Big Mama wants to talk to you. <laughs> it was awful. And she's just looking up at me, breaking her neck. I never have that problem with anybody. No. Do I need to put my ears on? Which means I got to If you would like off. to, it you can you can hear your tones better. Gonna she's mess got up the, the hair. Bed. No, well, she's got I, the best hair. I'm telling you, there is gonna be he's, a lot. He's like, what is going on? A lot of estrogen in this interview. <laughs> uh-huh. And after we get yes. done, we're gonna do uh, pictures with the logos. Which would be better because I can put my hat back put on. Put your hat back on. Look all outdoorsy. <laughs> and then uh, we got shirts over there too, so you get. Get your shirt. It's so comfy. I sleep in it every night. I was just be... going to say, can I get a big one so that I can like drown in it in my sleep? I got a 3X. Ooh, yeah, a that's about shirt. right. Yeah, no, that'll shirt. be a nightgown on Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. It's perfect. It's perfect. Ooh, I need to... perfect for me. Because then you can. Because I'm a large human. You, you can sit on the couch and wrap your feet in it, yes. and it can be like a <laughs> snuggie. A, a snuggie. <laughs> a snuggie. Legs up. That sounds really bad when I That do sounds that. like that. Yeah, so are, is that loud enough for you? Do we need to turn your head? I was just wondering if I needed to get in it a little bit deeper like this. Yeah. yeah. Get in there deeper. <laughs> oh, you just blew out the mic, so you can't You're go that deep. You're too close. Get in there turn deeper. You down. There you go. Not so deep. Of course I went too deep. <laughs> you got to go deeper. Oh, you got to turn it on. <laughs> did you see her? She did turn the whole it thing. On. I did the, oh, okay, now oh, you can hear whole me. thing. <laughs> Sorry. What's the, are we... Are we ruining your No, I'm enjoying this. We haven't even this. started. We haven't <laughs> even started. Okay, show. good. This is not the show. This is okay. the show. This is all <laughs> Oh, it's not pre-funk. Marty. <laughs> Craziness. Okay. All right, I'm going to have to work extra hard to keep this one contained. That no, way. we'll put on our we'll put on our See PG. What we're, doing here. we're good. You'd be amazed. All right. Uh, so Morgan. Don't start with me. She's the star I'm, here. I'm no. starting with You're my co-host for this. Oh, a great. Yes. yes. Wonderful. You're, good. you're, kind of, you're glad to be here on the Marty and Mills show. The Marty, Marty and Mills. Mills That's in the a good morning. morning. Okay. Just focus. <laughs> Are we focused? Focus. Sorry. Focus. I just blew that one out. Sorry about that. It's because okay. I sang. Christy had a blowout. I <laughs> did. <laughs> Settle. Sorry. Settle. Okay. 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 Focus. Sorry. Focus. You can't get us together like this. I'm sorry. We made it a party. All right, Leadheads. We are back at the 2019 SHOT Show at the official Lead Quarters. 
Buck Knives. And I have a lovely co-host with this segment. Hey, y'all. We have the lovely Morgan Mills. Hi. You leadheads know her. You love her. She's a leadhead herself. Love you guys. Welcome in, Morgan. Thanks for having me here at the well, lead quarters. Well, thanks for coming. And uh, you brought a posse with you. I today. got my posse. Introduce your posse to the leadheads. To my right, we have Christy Titus. Hello, darling. The lovely <laughs> Christy Titus from Pursue the Wild TV show. And to my left, we have Nerissa Harmon from Girls with Gun Clothing. Girls with Guns Clothing Empire. Hello. Empire. Hello, leadheads. Hello. Yes. Welcome, ladies. Well, hello. Nice to uh, see you, man. I, I think this is the first time I've had an all-female guest <laughs> list, so this is awesome. We do have a moderator on site, I wanted to you. so that everybody knows. <laughs> I wanted Tia to host the show, but she's like, no, you got this, Lefty. So. Morgan. Yes. What's new with you? Well, I am at SHOT Show here. Yes. You know me, country music and the outdoors, so... Taking meetings goes for hand in hand. All of the above, yeah. Working on some new you stuff. You got some new projects that you're working on. Yeah, can't talk about it yet, but I'm excited right. that um, there's some stuff in the works. But when you get those worked out, you're coming to Talking Lead because yeah. we are the show for exclusives. That's right. And you're gonna let all the lead hits know. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So my girls here. Yes. I can't talk about much when it comes to me. But my girls here have a lot going uh, on. <laughs> a lot going on. We have girls with guns has new clothing all the time downstairs yeah we're downstairs what is it 3450 i think we have a booth down there yeah. this is our second year so we're excited it's taken us seven years to just seven years uh, yeah. get a booth so when we got a booth we were just like jazzed yeah. and um this year we're launching um, a couple new uh, clothing items one such a as concealed casual which is interesting um, yeah, it's um, like it is, like it sounds. A whole new uh, one-off brand from Girls With Guns Clothing. Okay. And um, it's like athletic wear that has your right-hand holster carry. Um, built in. Built in. Nice. Yes. Very nice. And uh, Jen's been very passionate about it because she has been out on the range, of course, with Titus and everybody. Yeah. So she's like, we got to get some leggings figured out for our brand so that's what we're that's doing that's the hot thing that's the leggings. hot thing athleisure like, is at, where it's at yeah athleisure is that what is that what you call that yep athleisure athleisure so we're doing that and we have an upland collection that we're launching and it's been really fun to see it all come together and hear from market of you know those of you that know that it takes a lot to put it together develop sure. it and bring it here so it's pretty Pretty cool. Well, congratulations on your second year at SHOT Show. Thank you, man. And I know you guys are probably just killing it down there. It's It's been fun. You know, when, when I had the opportunity to walk around SHOT Show, the basement is where I would start. Because really? that's where all the cool, new, stuff. new innovative you know, products are. Yeah. You know, so that's where we are. Hopefully you guys are getting a lot of you know good coverage down yeah, there. Yeah, we are. We did. We had a good, good show uh, today. We had a press release conference. So... Jen's been just really crushing it. She's seven months pregnant and still, oh, wow. still crushing it. <laughs> she's so busy. I haven't even seen her yet. No. Insane how she is running around and she looks like she swallowed a basketball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And she still has more energy than all of us combined. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. So, so tell all the lead head, uh, lady lead heads where yes, they can go. Yes, you guys can find us at gwgclothing.com. And online, uh, Instagram, now Facebook. Now, is that cool necklace that you have on? Oh, gosh. Something that you guys... No, this is from the Joe Wall design. Oh, okay. Yes. That's kind of uh, cool. I don't know if you guys follow him, but he's an incredible designer um, on joewalldesign.com. Okay. Amazing. So he I didn't mean to plug him. No, I have to plug him because <laughs> he's awesome. That's he a is a great necklace. guy. And they're really... Joe Wall. Yeah. Okay. They're really nice, nice people. So, right on. Yeah. So I'm plugging them. Uh-huh. <laughs> And then over here to my right, Christy. We, she has been, we've been besties for a long time, yeah. and it's amazing watching her. It's like she is inspiring. The I girl would say. boss queen. No, no, yes. no you are. I'm going to brag on are. you for a second. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and I'm going to help too because every time we're around you, um, you always inspire us, and you. Um, are so kind and just so loving and we love you hold so. on the, the headsets are 
Just I think they're the head. first humans to ever say that I'm loving. So that's great. <laughs> I'm so you really are. honored right now. You <laughs> like, know. I'm really, she's a little <laughs> wild, too. My we dog would uh, appreciate that. <laughs> uh, he would say I'm loving, but I appreciate that you say that. No, what thank kind you. of dog do you have? I have two. I have a Rhodesian Ridgeback, and then I have a Maltese. And uh, 11 years ago, I got a small dog so I could dress her up in outfits that she refuses to wear and <laughs> <laughs> curtail the craze for an infant. And uh, now she's 11. It's great. Okay. And uh, she's never grown. And, and, and does she still let you dress her up? No. Nope. It's not gonna have it. Not having it. Not, not, not having it. it. Nope. So, so you've got you've got a show that you don't say it's a TV show. You have a show. That's crazy. It's a digital series called Pursue the Wild, and it airs on Amazon TV, um, Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation's Elk Network, Facebook, uh, Instagram TV, YouTube. Um, so basically, kind of any digital platform that you can launch sure. content and it's a uh, big game hunting episodes and also I shoot uh, in the precision rifle series which is new for last year's just started competing in that series and so I kind yeah, of PRS is really coming up that's correct and well now there's also the National Rifle League which is um, excited to shoot their league this year so there's both and, and so I started competing with that and filming those things and and then I do a full series of tips and tactics behind it. So, like, on a episode launch week, I would launch a full episode. The following week, I would do supporting content. So, what pack am I using? What clothing am I wearing? How am I functioning, you know, operating my gear? So, whether it be a rifle platform or archery kinda platform. kind of behind the, the scenes kind of thing. It's kind of a little bit of tips and tactics that would go into being successful on that type of pursuit specifically is what I tried. And then I do a lot of conservation messaging with Elk Foundation. So, it's been fun. Um kind of a labor of love. I had no idea what I was doing two years ago when I started, but I I came to SHOT Show with a concept and a basically a, a pilot, and I pitched the idea to people that um, I've had associations with in the industry through other media broadcasting hosting positions that I've done, and every single one of them said, let's do this, and we're behind you, and, and uh, I have been a great team very cool now is it just you doing the hunting or do you have people that you bring along on the hunts with you so sometimes i i bring people along um i try to do some hunts i, I try specifically to hunt a lot with women so sure. like last year i took a little girl whose father was um was killed in combat and i took her and her mom and the year before i took a little girl who has uh, terminal cystic fibrosis l cunning and so i try to take girls really and empower uh -huh. girls um and when I hunt with a guide, which isn't very frequent, I really try to what hunt with What do you got against guys? Girls. Come on now. Well, <laughs> no, when I you hunt with a... teach us a few No, when I, hunt sure, with, right? when I hunt with a guide, like a... Oh, a guide. Like a guide. Not a guide. A guide, not a guy. Not a guy. A guide. Oh, guys, come on. <laughs> if I go on a hunt with a guide, I try to do an all-girls team. Sure. Because I think it's really important that um, women promote other women that are legitimate and authentic in, in this space, because the outdoor space is really been welcomed up to women in the last 15 years mm -hmm. especially um, and it's nice to promote and elevate those women that are doing incredible things like girls with guns and, and other people as well so uh, we're really here to help each other and grow the shooting sports and, and grow hunting and, right and help spearhead conservation movement as well so you're you say you do the series how how often are you putting these out have one a week one a week every week very good so that that's includes your hunt your tips your that's everything. Yeah, everything. So one a week. So you'll have an episode launch on a Monday, and then uh, the following Monday a tip would launch, and then an episode would launch Monday, and so it just rotates. And I do re-promote some stuff. Like I, um, I, I did a moose hunt last year in 2017. I, I ran that episode January of 18, and I've never done any promotion of it since. And so it's been a year. I just reposted that moose hunt. It's an incredible hunt. So I try to always have something that's really fresh and unique mm -hmm. so that people always have something new to look forward to watching. How do you decide your next hunt? What, what goes into, like, all right, we did this one now. I want to do this one for certain reasons. Yeah, Maybe. I'm. it's just whatever challenge I feel like tackling for that year, you know. And my base is mountain hunting, so western big game mountain backpacking. I have mules, so we do a lot of extended stay pack trips and stuff like that so it just it just depends what story do I want to tell what's the mission behind um, being in different places because they all have a different unique uh, compelling reason to do them so I try to capture that very cool now I'm sure you got like a whole crew with you while you're doing these you got several camera guys and no, girls. man I'm 
like, what are you? I mean, I have. <laughs> what are you doing? Your I'm, I'm little. <laughs> <laughs> I'm little. I'm little. Is it little on me? And I got. No, you're small but mighty. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I mean, just like the rest of us. I mean, you so you walk through Shot Show, and some things seem these companies seem so large and you think that they have these massive teams behind them to create the success that they have but what you'll truly find with most companies in this industry in the outdoor in the outdoor space is that it's ran by people that are hardworking and really love what they're doing and they work their heart out because they love everything about it and so like for me I have a producer that travels with me and produces all my content you have girls like, you know, Jen and Arissa are still working their booths. They have a small staff. They're in the office every day. I mean, heck, even Ruger, yeah. they have two marketing people. Yeah. And look how big that company sure. is. And so everything is always much smaller than meets the eye. Okay. So you're saying you don't have a big entourage that follows you? <laughs> well, just these girls. Just <laughs> girls. <laughs> but I follow them around, actually. <laughs> so that's We're each other's entourage. The following yeah. is mutual. Right? Yeah, I know. So what is your next, uh, what can we look forward to on your next hunt, next episode? Do you, have you got it planned out yet? Yeah, I well, yeah, I storyline everything way in advance. So my next big game hunt that's going to launch is um, featuring a whitetail that I harvested this last fall um, on a farm that's in um, Indiana, and it's owned by the Craig family, and it's been in their family for over 100 years, and um, it's generation two on the farm now, and... Uh, the gentleman and the gal that invited me out there, Jim and Lee and Craig, won Conservationist of the Year for the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation. They're, they give a lot to the Wild Sheep Foundation as well, so they're extreme stewards of the land and extraordinary people. They have a camp called the Craig Family Camp where every year for the last five years I go and I do a women's shooting event and we bring in almost 100 women a year, teach them about firearms, teach them about safe handling of firearms, program, and, and yeah. they shoot and it's great. And they do the same camp with kids. And they invited me in and um, to hunt whitetail deer. And what I wanted to do was tell their story with this hunt. And so when Jim invited me there, he was like, okay, well, here's my farm. Have fun hunting deer. Yeah. Knock <laughs> so, yourself out. <laughs> yeah. So um, I did successfully harvest a deer with my bow. But, but the big story on this is telling. They founded an elk foundation chapter uh, 25 years ago. And Indiana does not have elk. And... You know, there's three chapters in Indiana now, and what what impact they've made in the wild places of this country, and impact that they've made, the change that they've made in their community and, and yeah. in the lives that they've sculpted. So, the story is really about their servant heart, and I try to have you know nice. really uh, you know a great episode with everything I do that tells a bigger story such as that. But it's around surrounded with hunting. Oh, very cool. Yeah. So where, where can people, uh, you, you gave all the, the things, you're on social media as well? Can people find you on social media? Oh, she does social media yeah. like no other. Yeah. Tears it up. She crushes it. Yeah. <laughs> Morgan hasn't posted in forever. She's been too bombarded. But you, I, 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 I you know, social media is such a big thing these yeah. days. And yeah. um, she just, her post, no gun bunny hair. She is so yeah. authentic. Yeah. Um, yeah. The brands that she works with. We all work with Ruby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Fantastic. The yeah. brands that, um, and I gotta say that about both of them, like the brands they work with are people, they're partnerships. Yeah. It's not just a money sponsorship thing, it's a partnership because they believe in those brands and they actually the believe in the value, product. Same, beliefs, same yeah. exactly. And it's not. Same thing with Talking Land and our sponsors. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah well, and that's Look at Buck Knives. You gotta click with the, you know, the people that are behind you, otherwise it's yeah. not gonna work. Exactly. Right. Buck has been. Um, leaders and champions of conservation they support the nra they support the rocky mountain elk foundation they support every nonprofit organization out there for conservation and and to be part of that with them is incredible i mean you you can't pick better people to affiliate your brand with than people that have the same core fundamentals that you do yeah, yeah. which is we're here at the buck knives booth right now ironically we are it's a the, cool the official setup though yeah. i have to say this is fun yeah this is awesome isn't it? They, they really did us right here uh thanks to brooksy for setting this yes. up CJ Buck for allowing it to happen. Yeah. Uh, we've had a great time. It's just day two, too. We still yeah. got three, two more days? Let's I don't see. even two know. Two more days. Yeah, I don't know. It's two all range days is, uh, they knocked me out on those range days. I well, Morgan say. and I saw each other at the range, and I was like, I called my mom when I went to my hotel after that. I'm like, okay, I just saw the sunshine for the last time in four days. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I'm going to look forward to nothing but indoors. <laughs> yeah. 
and they pump oxygen in here so you feel like you have energy and then as soon as you go outside you're like oh <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> all that skin so I have, have to tell you something though please. it's really cool to see how far you've come to just with your podcast because I well, remember um, from the beginning yeah Morgan I think she where was it, NRA we were NRA what city was that one is Kentucky it, Ken- it was it was yeah, Kentucky it was Kentucky yeah. yeah and just to see you like from where you've grown to well, here I mean to here you are today it's pretty fantastic. it's just it's a passion and it's something I yeah. love enjoy doing and yeah and you're always so great and just so Cheerful. Well, look at you go. This I is have not to tell about you. me. This is about you guys. Well, we got to do that. We, like, like we said, we got to support our friends in this industry. And when well, you, you. Um, like Morgan and Christy, like we've been friends from the beginning. I remember the video that we did there. Yeah. Uh, Morgan had just got finished playing yep. on stage. And uh, she came down, and then you were there. It was the first yeah. time that we had met. Yeah. And we did this crazy, wild <laughs> YouTube video. It was, yeah. It was crazy. And, and I waited for the longest before. I think I posted it. Didn't I post it on YouTube, but mm-hmm. I waited, you know, for like six months after because I was like, I don't know if I should post this or not because I don't know if you guys want it because we were just crazy. We were just getting, up. yeah, we were, we were just getting started and it's just fun. We still like to have fun like that, huh? Oh yeah. Oh, we do too. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. We're little children when we get around each other. So have you guys had an opportunity to walk the 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 show and see what's out here? No, I have not. Yeah. I have just as my first stop, honestly. Now, Christy, we have band aids. If you, uh, I know she's playing with she's that. Playing with a knife, knife. I mean, over here. Knife. <laughs> what, it, what is that? It's half the this size of the her. New, this giant. is the one ten. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Uh, Easy. Well, Put so uh, it's gorgeous. It, it has, is pretty. It's, I mean, one ten is an iconic hunting knife in a in a folding capacity. But once you throw that full oh. auto feature on there, I mean, that's nice. It's pretty wicked. Yeah. I did some really fun slow mo stuff with this particular knife this fall and I can't wait to show that to people it's like cool <laughs> <laughs> so just excuse me okay you better I have a yeah. low attention span to play with <laughs> yeah, the knife me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay you better make right, sure that so you don't get lose I'm that. making them seriously nervous with this knife. <laughs> I know don't lose that in the airport sorry so this is the first time nurse that you've been on the show and Christy this is your yeah. first time on the yes. show I have a a line of questions Uh-oh. that I ask our new guests. Okay. So now it's time for the new girl, new girl, new girl questions. Oh. I'm talking lead. Okay. <laughs> new girl, new okay. girl. Questions. Okay. <laughs> so, and this is for both of you. What okay. is your What is your earliest recollection of uh, being uh, introduced to firearms, shooting a firearm? Oh, that's easy for me. Um, yeah. I didn't grow up hunting, so <laughs> it was probably... I was 18 years old, okay. and um, I hunted with my husband. And the only reason why I did is because I wanted to spend some quality time with him because <laughs> he was always gone in always the hills. Always gone hunting, yeah. And so I hung out with him, and I used to come out because there was no women's hunting clothing really at the time. Right. And so I'd go out in my old Levi's 501s with my black chuck of vans <laughs> and <laughs> my rock star oh snapback hat that I still... So I not stood, dressed yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, and so that was like my first... No and do you, do you remember what you shot? you remember the rifle? Yeah. No. No, I don't. I can't even tell you. What were you hunting? I was hunting blacktail in California. Oh, nice. So it's more spot and stock. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we did that that day. And we shot a hog. And um, Man, I remember it chased up. us up a tree. And I'll never forget that because I was like, ah! And then I remember the deer. And it was all traumatic. And <laughs> And then crying. since then, it's just snowballed. And and then and obviously, it didn't scare you too much because you're ate up with it now. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I'm still a little chicken every now and then. Yeah. <laughs> I know. How about you, Christy? Um, Santa Claus brings firearms to my house. Wow. <laughs> that, I want your Santa Claus. Uh, so... Uh, there's always been firearms in my home, but my my own first firearm was a Ruger 1022 that Santa Claus brought me, oh my and my dad would take my sister and I on New Year's, and we would go rabbit hunting in the desert in the snow, Fun. and I took my first rabbit with this 1022, and I think it was like it must have had some sort of disease the rabbit because the- I missed it. And then I was so excited, I like dropped my clip because I had to reload it. And then I was like freaking out, running back and forth. And this whole time, the rabbit was like kind of laying there. And then, <laughs> like, I finally got the rabbit like taken care of. And and I was like, oh my gosh! And I was like, I mean, I literally lost my mind. 
And my dad was just on the ground laughing. He's like, there was something wrong with this thing because it just stood there this whole time I'm like melting down missing and like blaze firing and it's not moving and then I'm <laughs> dropped my magazine and it then was probably like, in shock I mean like, it was like and it just it was like a blessing from God that this thing didn't run off and I finally got it and it was like <laughs> but I have the cutest pictures and then I wouldn't touch it I had um my well my dad said they have diseases so then he takes a business card and I'm like holding up the legs with like yeah. a business oh. card because he didn't want me to get like some rabbit disease <laughs> <laughs> And I had oh um, blue and white striped foamy looking snow boots on How hunting. Old were, you? <laughs> were they moon boots? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. I don't know. You I were mean like eight nine somewhere around there i don't know how old i was yeah. i you mean still have the i'm 22. i'm gonna tell you i was 12 because that's the legal age in oregon <laughs> <laughs> to what shoot yeah to hunt <laughs> on so, your own property period you know just so period? yeah oh, just, okay. so i was probably 12. 12 i think it's around 12. i don't 12. think they're gonna come back and get you <laughs> they're not listening to the talking like podcast so, you so you're safe girl. it was a lot of fun though do you still have the 1022 yeah very My nice. sister has it actually because it kind of went to her kids, but um, it's not going to stay with her kids because it's ours, and I'll yeah, kind of fight for that until I until I go yeah. under, and then they next can have go, it. <laughs> next time you go visit her, you just kind of yeah. sneak it no, out. No, I mean it's just it's it's iconic to our family, and and so she had kids, so they it went naturally to her kids. But her kids are old enough for their own guns now. There so, you go. You know, Get your own guns. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> You want it back? No, <laughs> give me my gun back. <laughs> I know I'm, I'm good. <laughs> good, but yeah. So, um, your first—you talked about your first time. That was your first time. Um, mm. When it comes to pop culture, oh, oh, here we go. This is she my jam. loves this. Yeah, this is all. Whether the it's a movie, of- a TV show, a song, uh, maybe some some uh, YouTuber or something like that. What is your go-to <laughs> that's firearm, firearms or hunting related? My go-to show. It's go-to, yeah. Could be a movie, could be Podcast, a TV show. Could be, oh gosh. What do you just like really enjoy watching or listening to? Well, it's, I do watch a lot of Christie's. Me and my husband watch Pursue the Wild on um, Amazon Prime, and of course, we love watching you. What you do, so and supporting you. That's my go-to um, podcast. I listen to a ton of podcasts that aren't really. Too much outdoor. You know industry. when I listen to podcasts, I don't listen to guns or no. I, I listen don't. to like uh, movie reviews. Yeah, and, you know different things like that. So yeah, I'm really weird, but I love music. I'm a music junkie. So what? Oh, there you go. So I listen to everything. I mean, I listen to hip hop. I listen to a lot of worship music. I'm a Christian, so I love worship music. Mm-hmm. Um, and I love country music. I love. Everything. Love Morgan Mills. I listen to Morgan Mills. She is. She's Morgan one of my Mills. biggest fans. I'm probably fans. the biggest. Next Chief to me. Fan. No, I'm yeah. the biggest. Yeah, she's I'm the biggest it. fan. She always sings to me, I'll never lie. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Morgan, have I hit you with this? Have you done these questions? Have I hit you with the... the I think you should hit her with that. I can't remember. We've been friends for so should, long, I can't remember. I think we should. Yeah, we should Definitely should. Too. Yeah, yeah you I don't should. want to exclude you, so... She well, my podcast, I, Gun Related, I, I love... Is, is Joe Rogan considered Gun Related? No, not really, no. but he... I mean, he's a he's a hunting advocate. Yeah. I listen to Joe a lot. Yeah. yeah. I like his stuff. I listen I like to Joe Rogan uh, now and again. What about movie-wise, Christy? I don't watch movies. I don't watch TV. <laughs> no? Podcasts. I like to listen to Mark Levin. Mark Levin? <laughs> okay. So you like political stuff? Well, he's. I like it when he gets upset and he yells. It's <laughs> you like it when he talks like this oh, all yeah, the time? Yeah. Uh, you stupid <laughs> liberals. What are you doing? No, he's great. I'm sorry, but that's if I'm going to listen to... I, I, I turn on... <laughs> Uh, Fox page or the Patriot, and uh, I like to listen to Mark scream at three o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> That's what I do. Get you amped up. Huh? Well, yeah. That's what you do when you're riding, when you're riding your bike. Well, while you're like, ah! I don't have mainstream TV, and I choose yeah. my news sources, and and I like to listen to a truly conservative and constitutionally based perspective, and uh-huh. so I really appreciate listening to him. I I'll invest time into him. But I don't invest time into a lot. Sure. Of media. What about That's reading? Do you read? Um, so, uh, magazines, I, books. Yeah, know, I used author. to be an avid reader. Uh, not so much anymore. I just read a book called Turning Point by Charlie Crook, uh, yeah. Kirk, excuse me, um, talking about um, you know different things that are happening in our uh, educational systems with indoctrinization and how we can fight that and things like that. So, reading. Yeah, I just finished that book. I read uh, Dana Lash's Flyover State. 
uh, or flyover, is it flyover, called flyover? Yeah, flyover, uh, flyover Nation, Flyover Nation. Nation. Yeah. Uh, so I'm kind of interesting is on she that. Here? I'm sh- I oh, would imagine, yeah. yeah. So NRA He's TV has some great programming, and I'm really excited. Colonel North is he coming out earlier. with some stories and doing another series for NRA TV, and uh, so that's cool. But yeah, Holly I'm not North is here. not really a mainstream TV watcher much. I did watch. What about that when you were younger? You had to watch a couple of TV shows. When oh, so you my movie when I was younger is The Man from Snowy River and yes. Little House on the Thank Prairie. You. Yeah, Little House on the Prairie. Yeah, yeah. 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 Everybody loves Laura Ingalls. What Wilder. about Brady Bunch? No. Oh, I, no. I love Brady, Brady Bunch. Magnum P.I., huh? Oh, yeah. Morgan? I didn't watch Magnum P.I. That was before my time. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. well, hey, he's out yeah. now. There's yeah. a new Magnum. Yeah, whatever. Okay. I don't like it. Yeah, don't okay, like I want to hear some stuff from you now. Yeah. Come like on. Like what? Let's what back up and yeah, go your go. first uh, firearm experience shooting. Ooh, first firearm experience. Uh, you know, I grew up, my my granddad um, and my dad, they had guns in the house and they were hunters, but they never took me so it was like similar to Narissa later on in life um and I lived in Los Angeles actually at the time really? so I'm from the country I'm from North Carolina but I lived in Los Angeles and I was like it must have been this thing where you're like trying to get back to your roots you know I was like yeah. I need to go to the gun range and shoot and so I went to LAX gun range and LAX gun LA, range. by the airport there and uh, you know That's rented amazing. some firearms yeah, yeah. and ch- Doing selfies. <laughs> We're doing selfies. Yeah, I just that. completely, we just completely stopped talking and everybody smiled. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, no, we can't even use Girls that. Girls with cameras. Oh, yeah, no, oh. no, no, no. Okay, do get, another one. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Is that? It's just uh, a sparkling water. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, that's what it looks like to me. You just keep talking. I'm oh. good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we don't have to pause for this. It's good. <laughs> but yeah, so I went to the gun range, you know, in LA by myself. Okay. And And um, it wasn't until I moved back to the south eight years ago moved to Nashville and I just started hunting and, and shooting yeah we're taking more pictures okay. <laughs> that was a good one that was a good one I got it I got it I know that uh, you went on some hunts with Narissa and uh, the yeah. gang Jen. there Jen, I, as soon as I moved Jen. to Nashville I started working at um, Nashville Armory I opened it up there, and All I was right. doing the retail um, side, and I became That's where I first met you. Yep. Yep. You were doing your podcast out of there. Yeah, I actually met you before I met Andrew. That's true. So we're better friends. We that. are. <laughs> we've, we've been friends longer. That's right. So I did. I was there. Uh, Suck one it, of Andrew. Exactly. Richard. Oh, Andrew. We love you. Andrew is my boyfriend, for people that don't know. <laughs> to cover that, he works for Century Firearms. He was just on our last AK Corner. Yep. He's very smart. I ugh. He's a savant. <laughs> uh, he is a firearm <laughs> savant. Come on. He is. He's been in the industry, you know, over 20 years. He started when he was 16, and he knows his stuff. But enough about Andrew. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Moving on. Okay, okay, enough about him. Enough right. about him. Um, yeah. So I started doing that, and I got my certification, um, started instructing. And then um, I went on a turkey hunt, World Turkey Hunting Championship. There's a guy named Bobby Pinson. He's a songwriter in Nashville. Yeah. He started it, um, and he asked me to start it with him. And I went, and um, there was only one female team, and it was Girls with Guns Clothing, Narissa, sitting beside me. Uh-huh. And they had a third that dropped out, and Bobby was like, looked at me like, did you bring your camo? I'm like, I always got my camo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so he, he put me with them so they can be, you know, they could actually hunt. And it was uh, one team out of 50. And we went out oh there. Gosh. In the first hour, I knew we were going to be good friends besties besties we showed up with like makeup and like full makeup all of us had full makeup and camo which i'm sure everyone was like these girls aren't gonna hunt at all (laughs) no and and you know what we hunted so So hard hard. and that's when i knew i was gonna be great friends with them because i literally watched her business partner we (laughs) we were in kansas and it was like ticks everywhere <laughs> i'm talking like we pulled probably 180 off of jen oh, oh my yeah. gosh it was terrible it was it, we were ate up it was turkey season we i remember one, at one point looking at the back of jen's camo her back mm-hmm. and i thought my eyes were playing tricks on me because it went Whoa. it was moving because there were so many ticks uh, crawling out. on her yeah were there it eyelashes was, back there too oh, speaking maybe. of eyelashes inside joke inside, yeah. joke. inside <laughs> joke i watched a tick <laughs> crawl along the rim of her eye oh, stop while it. she was no. on a turkey and she didn't blink no. eyeliner and all oh. and she like, was so serious and then here's me and Morgan too we have to oh. tell that story so Jen's like dropping pins where we're at because she's getting into her maps and she's super serious and then here's Morgan and I 
so delirious, starting to rap a little Bon Qui Qui, <laughs> Angela Johnson. Uh, we, when we get around each other, since the beginning, we are like five year old boys. <laughs> <laughs> just like getting we just in trouble. change genders. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we change gender. Because <laughs> I feel like boys get in trouble more than girls, and yeah. we get in trouble together. And I so I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. Yeah. <laughs> At five years old, yes, yeah. it happens. And any five year old, any gender is getting yeah. in trouble. Yeah. Tomboys, tomboys. We, yeah, it's yeah. A beautiful yeah. thing. Tomboy. It is. It is. And so. and so we were just a handful out there. I mean, we were. I mean, you're a handful decoy. now, so I yeah. can only imagine. Not that. much has changed. Good yeah, Lord. and then t- add Titus to the mix, and it's just well, like, we met at Shot Show. Yep, the three we're of us. To figure out what year? Did we figure that out? I don't know if we did, but we did meet here at Shot Show, and uh, it was a women's like mingle mixer thing. thing. Oh yes. wow! Yeah, I was looking for that picture. We need, and I had white hair. I had brown hair. White you had hair. Br- uh, white <laughs> hair. White you had yes. white hair at one time. She, but then I met when I met them. It was brunette. Brunette, and then we flipped. We did. Yeah. And then she went white hair, and I. <laughs> you brown. went darker. Yeah, it was crazy. So. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I love that though. We've stayed mm-hmm. friends from that still day. Still bestie. Still bestie. Yeah. yeah. It's so interesting because so many you know women are coming to the the industry, and you've got all these girls on Instagram and stuff, and uh-huh. and nothing against them. Yeah. Like, I love that there's more female empowerment here. Um, It's just, I think we were really blessed from the very beginning to like, we were really in this business to like really be involved. We, we wanted to be in here for the long haul. Serious, hardcore. It wasn't about selfies. It wasn't about, um, I don't know, just anything like surface or superficial. Like we were building relationships because this was our lifestyle and we wanted friends I, to, that did the same thing that yeah. we do all the time. At that time though, when we started, social media was not, not what it, it is wasn't, today. No. So you didn't have the Instagram, you didn't have Facebook. It was really like almost the MySpace world. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like Facebook was just coming the out. Transition. And, yeah. Uh, so phase. You it was know, hard to meet girls yeah. that or, or anybody. I feel MySpace. Like. Oh my gosh. Yeah. 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 You, so, say, you say my, MySpace nowadays and you're like, oh, whoa. you're a granddad. Okay. So that's, uh, that should probably date us. Let's, let's cancel that. Edit I mean, that we're, out. we're still young. <laughs> don't, yeah. don't let that fool you. We're still young. Yeah. I'm like, for the audience. <laughs> All right, I'm going to move to the next question. <laughs> I mean, I'm looking for this picture of us actually right now as we speak. So okay. you need to show him. Yeah, okay. I'm going to find it. I promise. And maybe. Next so question. what is your next bucket list? Gotta have, you know, when the opportunity comes up, I'm getting this. Whether it's a firearm, a vehicle, a piece of kit, gear. What, what, what is your next? This is really what I'm getting next. That's it's a my good question. Goal. Christy? Oh, just... You just hot potatoed that so yeah, hardcore. Holy <laughs> smokes. <laughs> um, First thing comes to your mind, just pops in there. Well, I'm, I'm getting ready to gear up towards my competitive shooting season, and so I'm evaluating a different tripod setup right now. Okay. And I have noticed that there are a lot of new uh, bipod, tripod kind of so bipod things out there. goes on the fore end of your rifle. Yeah. The tripod I'm talking about is one that I could cross over and do, put my spotting scope on it and then also shoot off of it. So I shoot most of my animals when I'm hunting off a uh, tripod. Uh And so it's really, really helpful to have in the field. But when I do PRS... You need to talk to these guys over here, uh, Charlie Melton, Brad Stair. They have a phenomenal tripod set up out at the range the other day. I will introduce you yeah. to them and let you talk to them. So I'm, yeah. yeah, I'm trying to evaluate, you know, what's going to be, what's going to be the best one. You know, yeah. what, what do I want? You know, want and yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And I, I'm old school. Like I went from, you know, I grew up hunting bolt action rifle, 30 at six, and then I fell in love with 308, and 308's been my go-to forever. But I feel like that's kind of like almost phasing hey. out yeah. in yeah. old Don't school caliber. Don't shoot 308 now. anymore. Yeah. So I, I, I'm, I'm starting to get into the 65 six Creedmoor eights. world, and um, and I'm excited about it. I shot at Range Day Monday, and I was like, you know what? Mm-hmm. I shot a few of them. I loved it. I was on like another every reason time. you need to talk to these guys. I'll introduce you, uh, <laughs> but they have a, a phenomenal 65 Creedmoor that they just uh, yeah. developed as well. Awesome. I'm not plugging them at all. It's just it's coincidence that they just showed up and 
we're talking about this. So. Yeah. What do Narissa? you do in this? What do you like? I'm going to turn this around on you. No, no. This is all about you. You answer it, and then I'll answer it. Okay. He said it can be like tech. I know you, you're into tech, too. Technology. I'm always into technical. Um, hold on. Let me think. You threw me off for a minute. I'm like, uh, Everybody needs a new Ruger Kestrel 500. Yeah. 5700, excuse me. What's the takedown? The takedown. You're shooting that, right? The takedown? Uh, hold on, I'm thinking about Ruger it. Precision Ruger Precision Rifle. Yes, at Ruger Precision Rifle, I'm shooting that, and they, that um, that's what I I just got that. So yes. Christy's gonna actually help me get that set up because I I really know nothing about that world. Yeah. And so. Well, um, it's just a bolt gun. Yeah. The only thing that it has on that is that it's got an AR-10 handguard, so you can have your M-Lock accessories attached to that handguard. Right. And cool. it also has an AR-15 style pistol grip and buttstock so it, the stock actually collapses up and down from 12 to 15 inches the cheek comb height adjusts it's got straight in line recoil 30 well 20 minute rail or 30 minute rail depending on the if you have a magnum yeah, yeah. and uh the great thing about that gun is like on a 6.5 creedmoor or i'm shooting six millimeter creedmoor in competition the gun naked is about 10 pounds loaded 15 you get behind it you train and shoot and there is zero recoil and nice. it, it's not something you're going to want to hunt with but for positional training and long range training coupled with that PRS, Kestrel 5700 yeah. it's great yeah. yeah now is that what you want is that yeah I got the 6.5 where we were going with Creedmoor. that okay. Mm-hmm. okay yeah so Christy she's so good too she's an excellent trainer and I got to shoot with her so yeah. I'm uh, excited to start I'm trying to talk them into coming to the Titus Ranch I know she's got a new ranch oh, that yeah? has been so yeah. Titus Ranch Titus Ranch yeah. sounds fancy she Doesn't owns it? a mountain she I bought do. a mountain I did <laughs> buy a mountain that's true actually <laughs> I'm gonna get you like a Hollywood sign for your mountain yeah, but it's just gonna say Christy Titus. I own this. Christy, King, King, King of the Mountain. King of the Mountain. It's gonna no, we say. Should, we, you know what? You should be playing right now. Hold on. Titus Peaks. Hold on. It's gonna say Titus Peaks. Oh, it's gonna say. <laughs> Ready? Hold on. Ready? <laughs> Titus Mountain. That's great. Titus, Titus Mountain. Mountain. Yeah. Come to Titus Mountain. <laughs> See the crystal clear waterfall. Okay, oh, Charlie, hey, That's we were just great. talking about you. I want to introduce you to uh, Christy and Narissa and Morgan. Marissa. I think you've met Morgan. Morgan. Oh, oh Narissa, sorry. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Hi. Morgan Bills. Oh, nice nice Christy. Christy. Nice to meet you. Charlie Melton. Uh, we were talking about uh, precision rifle shooting. Uh, Charlie holds the world record. He's at 5,025 yards, getting ready to wow. go 7,000 wow. yards. Wow. 7,000. Oh, 7, my God. Impressive. It's a world record. Um, I was trying to describe the, the tripod setup that you guys had out at the range the other day. She's just looking for, you know, a nice uh, I'm comparing tripod some kit. options on tripods, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, man. Mirage ULR Here you just made it. Mirage ULR just made like the ultimate tripod for a Tripod? No, no, oh, okay. So you guys. So I'm looking for a tripod. Oh, Crux Ordnance makes a. See, that's what I. That's I've heard that that's yeah, where I, I should go. Yeah. I have a couple go. of them. I yeah. Run and shoot. Mm-hmm. I, I made a 2,800 yard shot off of it. So, wow. Yeah, they're. Wow. What kind of guy? Right there. Hashtag there. goals. Hashtag Hashtag somebody wants to get to know. Right that's here. right. Yeah. 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 I'm not gonna. I'm competing in some ELR, ELR matches this year. So, are you doing Q Creek? I'm not. I don't do competitions. I teach. I, I teach long range course. So you come out through one of the courses. I guarantee. Where's your courses at? Increase your accuracy. Where mm-hmm. are you at? So, we're based out of Texas, but uh, I travel all over the U.S. Ah, see, I like that. That's so, awesome. So, so Charlie uh, has trained some some very uh, prolific snipers, and he's one himself. Uh, he's with wow. the teams. Yeah. Well, I'm uh, a student of the gun. Yeah. So. Uh, when he says he can improve your accuracy, oh, I guarantee he, everybody he has room it. for improvement. Now we're yeah. also talking about the six-five uh, Creedmoor that you guys just built because Narissa was uh, one of the. Yes, sir. Our, yeah, our new six-five Creedmoor. Yeah, Morgan. I would. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, our new six-five Creedmoor AR is uh, definitely one of the best AR-10 platforms I've ever shot off of. Not just saying that because it's ours. I've shot many of them. Yeah, it has no recoil. Your crosshair never comes off target. It's like playing a video game, and it'll shoot a six-inch nice. group at fifteen hundred yards. Nice for an AR. That's pretty incredible. Yeah, they come a long way. Yeah. So we're gonna get Charlie on here in just a little bit, but uh, I wanted you to to meet the girls before you came in the perfect like, time. Actually, <laughs> we were talking about long distance. So I'm gonna I'm gonna up this a little bit. Okay. So laws be damned, rules be damned. 
Uh-oh. What would you own? What would I own? Well, yeah. I... No, I have just that's why I said, what would you own? Yeah. Doesn't have to be firearm. Anything. Oh. Anything. Laws be damned. Rules be damned. Money be damned. Yeah. I, uh, without the politics of Africa, I fell in love with Africa. I went a few times with Jen and Arisa. So you would own Africa? I would own land in Africa that couldn't be taken away from me because <laughs> that's politics. It's, it's really Is bad now, but I would own Africa some. Or just land in Africa? Huh? All of Africa. No, I don't want all of Africa. I just want some it's a land. Lot of land in, I want some land, it's a lot of land in, to manage. in Limpopo, Providence. Yeah, that's I, that's so uh, good. Yeah, I was just just I, that's what I want. <laughs> okay, it's magic there. Narissa. Oh my gosh, you threw me. This is this is not fun for me because I'm like. It's like first like thing that, comes your first head. thing I think of. Okay, Boom. what would I? Boom. What would I? Are you thinking, Christy? Yeah. The first thing I thought of is like a Bengal tiger or something. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. No, what that's I, cool. What do I want that I can't have? Well, maybe a tiger. I don't know. That what I want that cool. like it'd be really yeah. neat. I don't know. Hell like, yeah. I have no idea. That would be No, really I don't cool. want it to eat me. So really, they're not pets, people. This is not. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Narissa is so like it's just, in just tune. Threw you off. Yeah, it threw me off. Just She's, say something. Random. I just. I know. I was trying to. I was like, no. I'm like so serious about it. I'm gonna. I'm like thinking about it. Like I'm processing it. Okay, tell me. You've already ruined it because you didn't do spur of the moment. Oh, okay, but I know. Okay, yeah. She would own. She would own a record label. Oh, dude, you're right. I know. Or I would totally. Yeah, you so and right. it would be country. Would it be country really or would it be? Country. And it would be R&D. Christian music, it, and and he, she would have some rap in there. I know <laughs> that all goes together seamlessly, but that's Narissa. Oh my God, you're so good. I know. You know me so well. Or There's a radio. A reason like, they don't legally let her do that now. Yeah, I know. So I'm not sure I know. what it is. I like to <laughs> I like to rap under. under <laughs> <laughs> I'm an undercover if, rapper. If you Starbucks, guys came up with like legitimate aspirations, and I just threw out literally the, whole point the first of the question. thing that came to mind was like, "Ooh, a tiger!" Ooh, a tiger! <laughs> <laughs> Who does that? You played the game correctly, so you win. You're they good. like thought about. Yeah, it. I, I, well, I was thrown off. I was getting deep. Morgan right got it too. I mean, she came up with the land. That yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Like, trying to I'm come sorry. Up some some game changing, yeah, earth gonna, like, saving, change you know? the world. Yeah. Chrissy, I'm getting you a tiger for your peace. Like cats. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, despise house cats. <laughs> All right. If, if okay. Starbucks were to name a drink after you, what would it be called? <laughs> Good. Wait. Christian. The first thing that comes to your mind. Let's Titus see. Tamer. Titus <laughs> Tamer. Know. That's the first thing that came to my mind. I'm not sure. Mine was X-rated. What was it? Don't say it. it. Say it. I can't. Okay. More. Fuzzy. Fuzzy. Fuzzy unicorn. Fuzzy oh, unicorn. Yeah. Okay. Why did that come? I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. Fuzzy. Morgan. That's weird. Mine was Morgizzle. I don't know Morgizzle. why. I don't know why I Morgizzle, thought of that's that. That's great. The Morgizzle. I like that one. That's oh a good one. There's like a lot of swirls in there, like caramel frappuccino. It's I'm, Morgizzle. I, you know what it is? I'm hungry, and I'm not thinking clearly We've got right food. now. That's Would you like something? <laughs> that's what's wrong. That's what's wrong. I offered you I know. a I'm snack. Like, like, got I'm going to own granola. and tame tigers, <laughs> and they're going to make drinks at Starbucks about it. Okay. I'm going to eat a tiger while I drink my Starbucks. Okay, last okay. question. Oh, here we go. If you could spend the day at the range with anyone Ooh. or any group of people, whether they're still living, past, or fictional, who would it be? With me. <laughs> yeah. I just think Sorry of like... Sorry said lefty. <laughs> I just think of lefty. I think of like, you know, I feel like being women in this industry, it would be so cool like past women shooters that are famous like obviously Annie, Annie, Oakley. Oakley. Annie Oakley comes to mind but there's so many that were in our, our military you know in the past and just like big shooters and hunters I would love to be at the range like and it was ladies range day right? and they were all just had come back from the dead and were the like past. hanging out with us at the range like giving us their old tips and tactics and stuff right. I just think that would be so cool and and their clothes because those were pretty cool too. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. That, oh I yeah. know, right? Annie cool. Oakley's outfits all the time, like so on point. I know. It's a good one. Nerissa. You should see oh, what's no. in my head right now. It's like these. Zo- it's a zombie Annie Oakley at the gun range. <laughs> it's weird. Oh, it's in my head. My head's really. You're actually pictured and seen it. Yeah, that's but that's I, good. But I would love it. 
That's what so these questions low, are for. Like, blood boom, sugar. what pops yeah, in Yeah, I know. Head? Low blood sugar. What pops in my head? Yeah. Okay, skip me, because I always overthink this thing. You're already overthinking it. I'm already, already overthinking it. it. Go. Christy. Okay, so uh, <laughs> one thing that's really cool about our industry is that we get to meet some incredible people that have done some incredible things, and um, I'm like a total, I'm a gun nut. I would could self-proclaim but I've read Kyle Lamb's book, Green Eyes, Black Rifles, and Leadership in the Shadows. And Kyle, uh, the first time I met him was at a shot show at a party for Cryptech. And I walked up to him and I'm like, oh my gosh, man, it is so great to meet you. I, I'm just, I mean, I, I love you. I just love, you know, love your books. And he's like, lady, you got the wrong guy. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, no. I'm like, well, no, I, I, I read your Lamb? book, Green Eyes, Black Rifles, and Leadership in the Shadows. I'm like, I love your books. And he's like, are you kidding me? And we've been great friends ever since. That's cool. I actually just did his podcast today. And uh, I would love to go spend some time with Kyle at the range just because. Wow. I mean, just yeah, coming awesome. from like a, a perspec- the perspective of a student and sure. looking up to somebody with such incredible experience and knowledge and to actually be able to meet that person um, to me has been a tremendous honor. There's so many people. I mean, my, my coach right now that I'm training with, Jake Viber, he's one of the top long-range shooters in the country. And, he, dude, I love that guy. I love his family. What's and his name? Jake Vibbert. Jake Vibbert. Okay. And so I, I'm just, I'm so blessed. I, I shoot with Doug Koenig. Doug Koenig's on our Ruger mm-hmm. shooting team. He's our team captain. And, you know, I get to spend a lot of time, you know, at the range with Doug now. And, and he's been great. You know, he just came up with this new pistol that's, uh, you know, it's a new 1911 from our custom shop that, that people that are aspirational like me can go and buy this pistol now and step into the into the competition field and not spend a bazillion dollars on a pistol. And so I really love seeing that kind of American dream come true. And, and today's heroes, I mean, I think we live in the greatest time on earth because we have the freedom to do all this incredible stuff that, I mean, Annie Oakley right didn't on. have the opportunities that we had. And yeah. look what yeah. she pioneered anyway, not to take away from her, but... We live in a, a she's great a time right now. Piece of American, you know, history. history yeah. Sure. yeah, Americana. Yeah. yeah. I wonder what she would think now, like being oh my gosh. here. You know what I mean? Yeah. She'd probably be like, "That girl needs to put some clothes on." <laughs> <laughs> She'd probably give him a swift kick in the ass. Yeah. yeah. Go put some clothes on. Go girl. put some clothes on. So, Marissa, have we given you enough time, Marissa? Yeah, yeah, I did. I think about it. So it's funny because we. I looked at Morgan. And I was like, "This is so crazy," but it's would be like a rapper so snoop dog can you Sweet. see him like on the range with us like for shizzle my whistle this my is shizzle. so cool my <laughs> love this you know? i love this it would just be really cool to to be around him oh, yeah, around I, snoop I think what's neat about that's the first that type of snoop uh, dog perception would be just bringing firearms into the exactly. mainstream exactly yeah. <laughs> exactly you're <laughs> absolutely right. yep style. yep yeah. i can see yeah. snoop dog with his deagle turned to the side well, like. he hangs out with martha stewart why wouldn't he want to hang out with I you know. at the range that's right. i know yeah, and plus he just came out with this new snoop gospel and martha stewart yeah. album so it'd be like why not try something what's up i got an idea <laughs> narissa just came up with it's not it's not a podcast. It's just a little Instagram show. It's called Coffee with Nerd. Oh, you need to have Snoop Dogg Dog on Coffee with, with Nerd. Nerd. <laughs> Coffee with Nerd. That would be so it fun. Maybe fun he'll join that. my Instagram series. So so speaking of Instagrams, let's yeah. go around the town. Everybody give your social meds and where everybody, all the lead heads can, can follow you and, and let you know yeah. how much they appreciate everything you're doing for our Second Amendment community yeah. and all so, the great content you ladies are putting out. Perfect. You can follow me. I'm Narissa Harmon, and I'm at GWG Nerd. And you are. And you are. I was nerd. Not nerd. Even though she is a nerd. I am a nerd. <laughs> and I am Morgan Mills, and I am at Morgan Mills Music on across all social platforms. Yeah. There you go. I'm equally uh, is easy to find. So it's Christy Titus at all social platforms, K-R-I-S-T-Y-T-I-T-U-S. And same with my website. Mm-hmm. Very good. So Leadheads, follow them. Let them know that you heard about them here on the Talking Lead podcast. And uh, ladies, I know you yes. got other meetings to get to. Yeah, There's lots do. going on. It's just day two. So. Yeah, we got to get going. But thank, thank you, so you so much, much for, for having taking us. Time. Yeah, yeah thanks for this, being on. This was fun. Morgan, I appreciate you keeping everybody rounded up and, you know. Oh. Keeping yes. them on point. It's easy with these girls. When the mic is on, yeah. this is professional for us. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Prior to us to my recording, eyelashes it, was, on. Yeah. it was... Oh, I think I found one. <laughs> 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 the inside joke, Christy Titus is new to wearing fake eyelashes, and she's finding them everywhere. <laughs> I have a difficulty. It's like having a lost pet. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, Landheads, we'll be back with more for the 2019 <laughs> like, Shot Show this. at Buck Nine. <laughs> Later. Bye. Perfect. Thank you, ladies. I'm going to stop that, and we got to get oh some my. selfies. Oh, my oh gosh. Yeah. Selfies over at the That here. was fun. Whoa, I like that better. With All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that interview with Christy Morgan and Narissa. They were a wild bunch to have on. It was a fun time. Really enjoyed that interview with them. And uh, look forward to having them on again in the near future. But make sure you guys go check out Pursue the Wild, Christie's TV show that she's got going on with the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation. And go check out Girls with Guns Clothing. You lady lead heads that are out there, you're going to want to definitely go check them out. They've got a great line of clothing there. They've even got their own style of camo. Uh, and then, of course, check out their, their YouTube channel and videos over at Girls with Guns TV. And then always the lovely and talented Morgan Mills. Guys, check her out at Morgan Mills Music on all the social media and uh, show her some love as well. Let's give away some stuff, guys. We've got a, another EDC Pocket Dump Rewards package that we need to give out. Uh, we've got two more of these to give out to LEs, and we're going to give one away right now. And uh, I just randomly, because haven't really had a lot of you LEs take part in this i went on instagram and i picked this winner he's been a longtime follower and supporter of the show and just wanted to, to say that we appreciate that and we appreciate his service to our community and it's starship bins so starship bins on instagram get in touch with me talking at gmail.com and we'll get you the buck knives blue line knife Streamlight ProTac flashlight and the Defy Battlefield watch provided by our good buddy Bill over at the Federal Law Enforcement Officers Association. So there you go, guys. We've got one more of those packages to give away. And if you want to win that, your LE, fire department, first responder, you're one of our sheepdog listeners, go out in the public and take a selfie of yourself just out and about in the community and tag Talking Lead, Buck Knives, Streamlight. Leoa Bill, and share that picture on uh, Instagram, Facebook, and you could win that last one that we've got, guys. So looking forward to seeing those, this last run of, of selfies that you guys send in. And if you're a regular leadhead, I mean, keep doing this. Uh, I mean, don't do it just for the prizes. Get out there and show our first responders, our LE, our fire department, how much you appreciate the service and the sacrifices that they do for you day in and day out. So guys, that does it for another episode of the Talking Lead Podcast. And as I've told you in previous episodes, we're going to be dropping episodes more frequently. So be checking your social media feeds, your notifications for when the shows drop. Uh, I'm headed this week to go ahead and record our part nine of the Talking Lead AK Corner presented by Pioneer Arms Corps. And I'm headed up to Camden, Tennessee. So that'll give you a little hint as to who one of our guests may or may not be. So if you've got questions for the AK Corner, our next episode of the AK Corner Part 9, I know a lot of you guys have still been sending in uh, suggestions and things that you want us to talk about. I uh, got one recently from uh, Ed. He wants us to talk about uh, different kinds of ammo for the AK-47, the different brands, uh, what's good, what's not good kind of thing. So... I don't know that we'll do that in part nine, but we'll probably talk about that in, in one of the upcoming uh, episodes of the Talking Lead AK Corner. Uh, and we've got another AK-47 to give away during that episode. So that'll be part nine. Uh, so that'll give us three more to give away after this one. So so we got one to give away part nine, part 10, part 11, and part 12. So four more AK-47s to give away. So you guys, I want to see the participation on the social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Keep it up. You guys are doing great. I'm going to reward you for it, too. Uh, also, uh, our good buddy over at Occam Defense, Brian, has put up a few prizes for our last few episodes here also. So we're going to be giving, in addition to the AK-47, we've got some things from Occam Defense that we're going to be giving out to uh, some of you lucky leadheads as well. So stay tuned for the Talking Lead AK Corner presented by Pioneer Arms Corps. But just in general, I love hearing from you guys. Love hearing from the Leadhead Brigade. Just anytime you feel like you got something that you want us to talk about or you got something to say, you can reach me at talkingled at gmail.com. Uh, you can also reach us on uh, Facebook through the, the messaging systems there on Facebook. I know a lot of you guys 
Send me stuff through that too. I appreciate it. Always love hearing from you guys and girls. So if you want to send an email, just talkinglead at gmail.com. If you've got suggestions for the show, a topic, a person, maybe a product or something like that that you want us to talk about, send those suggestions in. And then, of course, you guys, please, 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 please go and support those that support this podcast. Without them, we wouldn't be able to do this uh, every week and then some. Right on Optics, the official optics of Talking Lead, R-I-T-O-N, optics.com. They've got a great line of rifle scopes, red dots, and they've even got some awesome binoculars, which is what got me hooked on them in the first place. Veteran-owned, family-run business here in the United States of America. They're, uh, they're, they're operating out of Arizona, Brady and the bunch up there. And like I said, we've got a new Optics 101 class episode coming up soon. Stay tuned for that. Caltech Weapons, good buddies down in Florida. Chad and Matt, love those guys. Show them some love on their social media, Instagram, Facebook, and then, of course, buy their guns at your local gun dealer. If you guys have never shot a bullpup rifle, uh, I mean, they're really, really fun to shoot, really nice, uh, and very practical. So go check out your local gun dealer, see if maybe they got one that you could test shoot at the range or something. Uh, you're going to love them. And innovative stuff like the, the Sub 2000, you know, it's a perfect pack gun. 9mm, 40 cal, those come in and just fold up, fit right in your backpack underneath your seat, behind your behind your seat. Really compact and then they're compatible with Glock magazines or Smith & Wesson. Keltechweapons.com And then once you go get one of those rifles, make sure you get in touch with our good buddies over at X Steel Targets and get you an AR500 Steel Target. They've got a wide variety of targets to fit all your needs. And they can even custom make AR-500 steel targets for you. XSteelTargets.com And keep your guns cleaned and lubed with modern Spartan systems. Even Christy Titus is using modern Spartan systems. You know our, our good buddy Charlie Melton, former SEAL sniper, trained some of the most prolific snipers in our military history. He is using modern Spartan systems on all his rifles too. So... Modern Spartan Systems, that says a lot. So go check out ModernSpartanSystems.com. And when you guys are doing all this shooting, you're going to need some eye pro. You need to protect those eyes. And for you guys that have prescriptions, you know, sometimes that's harder for you to find some good eye protection. Well, we've got a solution for you. Our good buddy Brett over at Tactical RX can definitely set you up. They've got some stylish frames and they'll fit your prescription to a T. Go get in touch with them at tacticalrx.com. Another way you guys can help support the show is you can go get yourself a Letty. I mean, not just supporting the show. I mean, you're going to do yourself a favor. Better than a Yeti, the talking Letty, the evil black assault mug, the talking Letty. Go get it at dip123.com forward slash talking lead. Keeps your drinks minutes colder or hotter than a Yeti, the talking Letty. Don't be a snowflake. Go to dip123.com for slash talking lead now and get those. And you wouldn't be complete without your talking lead t shirt. So you go to 1776united.com and you're going to get the official talking lead t shirts there. We've got our classic talking lead logo t shirts and then we've got the Leadhead Brigade shirts there. And hopefully they've got those patches back in stock. I know they've been out of stock of the, the Leadhead Brigade patches for a while, but they should be getting those in any day now. 1776united.com and of course St. Patrick's Day is coming up and they usually run some really good sales and they've got some custom shirts just for St. Patty's Day at 1776united.com and of course a big thank you to Buck Knives, Streamlight and Fleoa for providing our EDC Pocket Dump Rewards package items with the uh, Buck Knives, Blue Line Knife, the ProTac Flashlights, and the Defy Watches from Fleo over there. Go show them some love as well. Uh, that's how we are able to put together these awesome giveaways that we do for you guys, is by you guys going and supporting these companies and letting them know that you're Leadhead. Let them know you heard about them on Talking Lead. Our guests, our sponsors, friends of the show. Anytime you do any business with them, let them know that you're Leadhead. And we have discount codes set up with the majority of these people. So make sure you're trying to use the discount codes. If you're going to one of our sponsors or friends of the show, and typically it's Leadhead is the discount code. If it doesn't work, um, let me know. 
and we'll see what we can do to get that set back up for you so you can get an awesome discount. So until next episode, I look forward to getting those emails from you guys and reading them on the next podcast. But until then, Chris- and as always, Leadheads, keep your loved ones close. I'm Christy Titus with Pursue the Wild and keep your firearms closer. I'm Morgan Mills Music and keep your firearms as close as possible. I'm Narissa Harmon with Girls With Guns Clothing and keep your firearms closer. <laughs> All right, Leadheads, we'll be back with more from the 2019 like, SHOT Show at Buck Nine. <laughs> Later. Bye. All right, Bye. do me one more favor before you leave. Okay. I've got a sign-off that I do. Okay. I'll say, and as always, lead heads, keep your loved ones close. And then my guest will say, and your firearms closer. And your firearms closer. Ready? Okay. So uh, just say your name, and then throw that pitch in. Okay. All right. And you can say with Buck oh, Nye or we your show, together. say your show, oh. Chrissy Titus with the show, or whatever you okay. want to do. And keep your firearms closer. And do one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll do one with a choir. With everybody are we saying and then we'll like, do oh. one. I was like, I'm good for the choir. Are we this right now? The choir. <laughs> right. And as always, leadheads, keep your loved ones close. And your firearms closer. Christy Titus with... Per- <laughs> Let me do it again. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> what are we doing? Me I thought I was supposed to say my name first. Yeah, I was like, I'm say, confused. Say your name and then say your show. You know, it's Christy Titus. Say it's it's Christy Titus with blah, 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 and keep your firearms closer. Okay, okay, thank you for the clarification. Yeah. Okay. Like, did you, you need no, 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 no. I was like, I, I'm going to overthink this one again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> And I'll just go ahead. When you're ready, I'll, I'll edit it in. Okay. Yeah, okay, good. I'm Christy Titus with Pursue the Wild and Keep Your Firearms Closer. I'm Morgan Mills Music and Keep Your Firearms As Close As Possible. I'm Narissa Harmon and Keep Your Firearms Closer. You Re- didn't say Girls take with Guns. Two. Oh, take two. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm Narissa Harmon with Girls With Guns Clothing and Keep Your Firearms Closer. Perfect. Thank you, ladies. I'm going to stop that. And we got to get some selfies. Oh, my gosh. Selfies over at the... That was fun. Whoa, I like that better with that.